going on guys, it's Wava here, and welcome back to some more Jurassic World. Now, last time we left off, we went venturing out, we found some fossils, and unfortunately, I didn't I didn't find any more fossils, I was, I was too busy doing some building between this episode and last episode, I know, I said I was going to go out and find some more fossils, but for this episode, I'm not really planning too much to, to build the fossil area just yet, I kind of want to go out, adventure around, keep adventuring around, maybe, maybe find some fossils on the way, but I want to go find a mesa biome because if we can find a mesa biome then we can get even more like diversified fossils so as you guys probably saw from last episode we didn't really have any mesas that we found in the past the only like like St. Clair or whatever that we have is from these weird like I don't even know what they're called, like these things right here. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to be like dino fossils or some sort of ancient alien artifact or what. But uh, maybe we can go adventure around, fly around with our jetpacks, and see if we can find ourselves a mesa. Because I don't think we... You know, the, only, the closest thing we have is these things over here. And I think those give us hardened clay, which I guess we could use to uh, harvest and get ourselves some uh, stained clay here in the future to hopefully decorate our... Visitor Center, which by the way, I want to show you guys the Visitor Center here in a bit, but uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing where we could start out and hopefully find a, uh, a Mesa biome, so I don't know. Uh, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can head this direction, you know? Because it seems like we've gone a lot this direction, and even down in that direction as well. Maybe we can head to the left for this adventure, but I don't know, maybe we can, uh, Oh yeah, I think I did say I wanted to go visit my uh, my dinos that I set free. So maybe we can go over here before we go adventure around and hopefully find a mesa biome. So let's do that here in a bit. But as you can see, we still uh, we're still getting ourselves a lot of glass. Last episode we were in the desert, we got ourselves a lot of sand and sandstone that I kind of threw inside the uh, the pulverizers and got ourselves an absolute ton of sand. Uh, actually, I think. I think throwing it into a sack mill gives us like four sand per sandstone, so that's really good. Anyways, you can see we're now to 61, 60 something blocks of glass right now, molten glass. So we're, we're, we're smelling that quite swiftly. Oh yeah, there's also a machine I made down here. I got some comments for my Blightfall series, and I decided to test it out here in this series before I try to do it in Blightfall, and it's kind of cool. So you guys know how this nuclear reactor, it of course takes this yellorium or yellorite, uh, stuff and it you know burns the fuel and then it gives us this uh the cyanide stuff as a like a like a, a waste product i guess you could call it <laughs> well we could actually use the cyanide to make more fuel so that's really cool so we could use two cyanides plus a thing of water in this machine right here the cyanide reprocessor and you can see i've got it all hooked up and automated right now but we get uh, two cyanide ingots you can see it's going to go down to 62 yep it went down 62 63 and then 64 and uh you see we have a hopper hooked up up here as well as a chest but uh, i don't need the chest anymore because my hopper is able to feed in just enough cyanide inside there but two cyanide ingots one bucket of water i think one bucket of water and that gives you a what's it called blue blue radium or something let's see what's it called plutonium yeah it gives you plutonium and plutonium was basically the same thing as yellorium so plutonium yellorium basically the same thing if we run out of yellorium we can put plutonium in there and it'll burn the same inside of here i don't think we're going to get an output out of it though i don't think we're going to get like cyanide out of there so plutonium is of course going to be a like a like a last resort fuel source for us but uh, we don't really need to worry too much about that but it's really nice to know that we have an actual use for all this extra cyanide that we've been collecting over the years from uh, from our nuclear reactor over here, which, I don't know, maybe we can give it one more upgrade here in the future, and maybe not a physical upgrade, maybe not make it bigger, but maybe replace all the diamond blocks inside of it with a much more... Uh, much much better coolant like uh, like cryothium liquid cryothium or something or maybe like I don't know if liquid nitrogen would work inside of there I don't know if we can actually use that I know you'd use it for your power armor to, to cool it because that's what we have for our power armor that's cooling it because it gets real real hot in the nether but uh I don't know, we, we definitely need some better fuel source down there, and if it has a better fuel source, that makes it a lot more efficient, gives us more energy. Anyways, let's go to the visitor center, because I did a little bit of work on that, used up all of our glass that I had, and we probably have some more glass that I could use, so let's look it up. Uh, clear a glass array. yep, we have 330 wolves at 38? <laughs> Not bad! But as you can see, I placed down all the glass on this side. I got started here on this front side, but didn't really finish too much. You could, you could really see just how well clear this <laughs> this clear glass is you can only really see the edges of it right here where i kind of ran out of glass but i could of course use the uh builder's wand which i have been using by the way it's been super super useful 
for placing out all this glass. And of course, I've been running into the uh, the occasional like lag spikes and stuff from placing down the glass, which I still don't know why it does that, but eh, what are you going to do? I'd, I'd say the pros outweigh the cons of the uh, the lag spikes. You know, placing down all this glass at a super, super swift speed. Oh man, that's a lot of S's right there. But uh, look at this, we're placing it down super quickly. Didn't even run into any lag right there. Hopefully it doesn't happen here in a second. But uh, as you can see, it's, it's really nice and open, but I don't know, what do you, what do you guys think? I, I think it's a little bit too open. Do you guys think that? I think it's a little bit too open. We might want to add some uh, some of the stained clay, like I mentioned a couple episodes ago, kind of make it a little bit uh, like a little bit more exciting. It's a little bit boring right now with just the quartz, the white quartz, and then the glass, you know. So if we add a little bit of color, a little bit of variation, a little bit of fun to this, eh, I, I'd say it make it pop out a little bit more, make it look a lot better than it does right now. But we also had a poll last episode asking how high this uh, this visitor center should go, and if we go and so. Oh, Oh yeah, I need a I need a pressure plate here on the outside. I forgot about that. Do we have any extra? Yes, we do. And let's get a what is this andesite out here? And the site. A lot of you guys actually agreed that we should have the the paths not like correlate to the visitor center, but correlate better to the actual path that's leading up to it. Like here at the fountain, it's got the andesite. Over here on the sides, it's got the gravel. Over there, we're probably going to have some more shops. And a lot of you guys seem to like that idea as well. So let's go over here, let's place down the, uh, the two uh, pressure plate roos color them in with andesite, and there we go, now we can go inside. But, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like right now. Like I said, we had a poll last episode asking how high this should go, 25 blocks or 20 blocks, and a lot of you guys really wanted me to keep this at 20 blocks, which I definitely agree with, so we're going to be keeping it here at 20 blocks, and you can see whenever I built the rim around it here at 20 blocks tall, it definitely has a pretty good size. Not bad at all. I feel like at 25 blocks, a lot of you guys agree with this as well, that it kind of, uh, it, it kind of compete a little bit with the aviary over here with our flying critters so it's, it's definitely a lot better it's a little bit smaller and and doesn't really take the take the shine away from the really cool aviary we have over there for our our flying dinosaurs and whatnot anyways haven't really built anything here on this back bit just yet, but a lot of you guys really like the idea of having it open with, with glass windows. Not too much glass, not too much windows, not too open, of course, because of course we do want people to uh, come inside of here, and we don't want them to just look through the windows and be like, yep, I'm, I'm done. So maybe we'll add a couple windows here, but I'm, I'm trying to think of what we could do to possibly make this a little bit less, I don't know how to say, I'd hate to say less open, but that's like the whole idea of the visitor center is that it's nice and open. But I, I, I kind of want to add some more quartz over here so we can actually have a bit of area we can work with with some stained clay and stuff. So I'm thinking maybe we could do something like this. Maybe make it curve up a bit like this. So I kind of I was, I was thinking about maybe doing something like this. But yeah, I, I, I definitely want something back here. That way it's not too open. And we can actually have a little bit of space to build some character for this building. That way it's not a big old white cube with glass inside of it has a little bit more character a little bit more uh, maybe we can make a make a window right here you know one two uh one two three yeah we could put a window right here one two three yeah we could have a three by three window right there not bad so there we go we can color all this in with quartz and then uh use stained clay to kind of give it some character here in the future maybe use some really cool abstract designs and stuff so let's place these all like that get rid of this Let's see what it looks like from a distance. Huh. I don't know, that, that doesn't look too bad. Kind of reminds me of like maybe some sun visors or something. Like maybe goggles, you know, where it's all glass up here in it. I don't know, let's do that to this side. Of course we will have to get rid of a pretty good amount of glass. And speaking of glass, clearly, oh wait, we already have a clear glass in our inventory. We just place down the clear glass right here because there's going to be a window. So there we go. There we go, not bad. Okay, huh. What do you guys think of this? Adding a little bit of character right there. Hmm, I like it. I like it so far. So how do we do that? We did one, two, three, one, two, and then, okay. Okay, let's do that thing uh, over here. Leave a comment down below if you guys have any suggestions on, on how we could spice this up and make it look a little bit less boring. But uh, I think it's about time we go out and uh, go on a little adventure, hopefully find a mesa biome. But, oh yeah, look at this. Look at how cool this is, you guys. So the builders one can place glass on like like blocks like this. That's that's really cool. That was really helpful whenever I was placing these glass down like that. So not only 
does it work with uh, like straight lines and stuff, but it goes around a curve as well like that. That's so cool. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep placing down the glass like a show and there we go. And I think we're good. I don't know, it, it, it's, it's kind of good on this side, but where it gets to the door, I'm not really feeling it too much, you know? I don't know, maybe we can figure something out for that uh, here in the future, but uh, I think I might leave it like that. Anyways, uh, oh, whoops, I don't know why I placed that down like that. Anyways, yeah, we don't have any more uh, fossils than we had last time, so let's go out on a little adventure. And let's see if we can find some fossils and a mesa biome. So let's put up all this extra trash we're not going to need. There you go. i uh, probably put up the chisel as well. And we're gonna, probably going to need our silk touch pick again. How's about we go visit our, uh, our dinos that we kind of set free and retired a little while ago, so I think, uh, like over here, was it? Somewhere over here? I can't remember correctly. Oh, we got some cows in these trees! <laughs> but yeah, over there, I don't know what those things are. I don't know if they're supposed to be like casual Spinosaurus, like dorsal fins or what, but let's keep, uh, keep flying. Oh, is that Sarah the Tricer? Who's that one? It might be Sarah the Triceratops. I don't know. Uh, oh, it's just an unnamed Triceratops. Okay. Uh, who else is around here? Do we have any Brontosaurus or Brachiosaurus, I think? I think we had Brachiosaurus. Uh, where, where am I right now? I think we, oh, I think, yeah, I think we have to go this way, right? On this side, this is where our Brontos or Brachiosaurus are. Ooh, is this Sarah? I don't know, it is another unnamed one. Huh. Oh, here we go, there's Barack Obama. <laughs> And here's Littlefoot. Oh, man. Oh, I don't remember if these guys... I think they were Brachius horses. I can't remember, but they're still hanging out over here. We still have our donkeys. <laughs> All of our... How many of these Eddie Murphys do we have? I don't know. I think we counted like 11 of them or something crazy last time. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep flying around. Let's see if we can... Oh, there's our... Oh, oh, oh. Well, there you go, you guys. That's, <laughs> that's one reason why I don't come here very often, because the game can crash, and the reason why I retired them, if you guys remember, and moved them over here is because they caused a lot of lag and caused the game to crash all the time, so I moved them over here, retired them, set them free, but uh, <laughs> every time I come and visit them, something bad happens. Something like the game will crash or we'll get a lot of lag, but who's this little T-Rex right here? Oh, he's not so little, is he? He's unnamed? I don't know if the... Uh, do the names get cleared whenever I haven't been here in a while, or... Let's go check up on Barack Obama and, uh, Littlefoot here. I guess I never named, uh, Barack Obama. Oh, yeah, it does say it's a Brachiosaurus, not a Bronto, yeah. I think the, the blueberry that we have back home is a Bronto, if you guys remember blueberry from the Fossils and Archaeology mod. Uh, about half the size, maybe not half the size, maybe 75% the size of our Brachiosaurus over here. And he's the color blue, <laughs> that's why we named him Blueberry. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess... I guess I, I, I'd love to have these guys back at the park, but the, the Jurassic Craft dinosaurs, oh, here's Captain Crunch, but the Jurassic Craft dinosaurs, all of them, they always seem to have some sort of weird glitch or something where like it causes a lot of lag and causes the game to crash as well. And you can see sometimes they'll like do a weird movement and teleport and stuff. Uh, I don't know if I could break a block right now if it registered correctly, but uh, what if I typed in the chat memes? Oh yeah, it works fine right now. But uh, maybe over time it'll probably start accumulating some disgusting lag and whatnot. So, oh wait, where's our where's our baby Spino at? I know our oh there he is right there. Oh look at that little guy. What are you doing over here? Oh he's not going to attack us, is he? I hope not. I don't think we have any going. Yeah. We, oh wait, we have one going lasso. We've got one. Oh I can hear him making noises. What are you doing there, Spino? What are you doing? If you guys are wondering, this is what he's going to look like. Of course, whenever he's a baby. But uh, whenever we finally have our Jurassic Lake area up and running, we can finally have this guy and we can grow him. He's going to be huge, hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, this is what he looks like. You going to eat some fish out of the river here? Uh, I'm not really seeing any, not even any squid over here. Jeez. What is this? Duckweed? Ugh, nasty. <laughs> Anyways, uh, while we're over here, actually, where are we, actually? Uh, mm, I don't know. I did say I wanted to go on this side to look for some bases. But maybe we can go over here. Let's, let's go over here. Let's teleport. And hopefully the world can... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's kind of glitched out. Let me do a little bit of a... These things. It's kind of like reloads the chunks and stuff. There we go. I think we're better right now. What are these? Mahogany? Yeah, mahogany trees over here. I think we've seen... A, ooh, oh, oh, it's this place. Dry... I think this is the dead biome. Oh, what is this? Swamp water? Dead grass? I don't have a bucket right now. Oh, wait. I do have a, a backpack with this hose. Which I could use, I guess. I don't really want to get rid of my lava, right? Oh, what is this? 
Is this what water looks like in this in this disgusting biome? There's like swamp water right here. Ugh. Okay, well I think I have to do how do I do this? Is that is that spray mode? I think this is spray mode. Oh yep, yeah, there's lava right there. Oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> let's place down uh one, two, three, and four things of lava there. And let's switch this to I think this is suck mode. So there's that. So what is what is in our backpack right now? Oh yeah, that that is water. That's just regular old water. I could suck it into my backpack and there it is right there. So what where is that other water? Oh yeah, this what is this then? If that's water, what is this? Let me get rid of this though. Uh there you go. Get rid of all that. Oh <laughs> this is gonna look like trash. Hold on, let me let me fix that. Uh there you go. Suck mode. Put the water back over here. And oh try to there you go. There you go. Okay, my thing's empty now. Okay, let's uh, go to suck mode. There you go. So what is this? Uh, well, it's not telling me right now. I don't know what this is. Hmm. I guess I'll keep it in my backpack and we can <laughs> we can investigate what that is back home. But eh, not only too concerned about the lava. Oh yeah, yeah. We could have just gone right here and see where it fades into disgusting swamp water, and <laughs> we could have come to the conclusion that that is indeed water right there. Anyways, what is this? Hardened sand? Yeah, hardened sand. There's a graveyard over here. I don't know why there's... There's like one chunk of regular land. Hold on, what if we do F3 and then move in and out of this little chunk right here? What are we going to get? We're currently in the plains. And here we are in the wasteland. Ooh, what are we in? End of Earth? We're in the end... Uh, yeah, here's the wasteland right here. Huh. Casual end of Earth wasteland over here. Oh, yeah, this is like fog into... Oh, what? Oh, these chunks are kind of kind of glitched and stuff because there's like a... I guess some sort of ocean chunk right here and then... But there's also a big old cave right... There's like a big wall of water right here. What? And then we keep going down. There's more water. There's, oh, whoa, what is that? Malachi ore. Ooh, there's an enderman there in the background. Yeah, I see that enderman. Oh, there's spider right there, though. Whew. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's leave. Let's leave this area. It's kind of interesting, though. You've got to admit. But not what we're looking for. We're looking for probably probably the exact opposite of this. We're looking for a mesa. A nice, clean, beautiful mesa. Oh, what is that? Oh, is this the... Oh, oh I know what this is. Hold on, let's go back to Origin Valley. You guys... If you guys remember playing my if you guys are old enough to have played Minecraft like what was it like six years ago or something? Minecraft Alpha. This is what it looked like. Everything was so bright and vibrant and colorful and well we didn't have these plants back then. <laughs> but uh this is what it looked like. Crazy. And then of course we had these floating blocks over here. <laughs> it looked like trash. <laughs> uh, but what we didn't have this house over here either. I think this is part of another mod. But look at this. Origin Valley. This is what Minecraft Alpha Beta Classic all of it looked well, not classic. I think Minecraft Classic had bi uh, biomes like this. But look at this. This is great. Oh, we got a little sheep over here with a top hat. And what is this? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, totally. So uh, here in Minecraft Alpha and Beta, people would have come over here and saw this thing and be like, yeah, this is where we're going to build a base. This is where we're going to build. I, if, if I was playing Minecraft Beta right now, I'd totally build a base right here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, look at this. It's all sheltered and stuff. We got a cool little entrance. We're underground. We can just build a mine shaft from there. Really cool stuff. We got a cow right there. I don't know if this biome is actually using, like, Minecraft Alpha and Beta, like, algorithms to actually build it, because this is actually bringing back a lot of... Ah! Yeah, we didn't have ravines back then, so... I don't know. Well, there is a tree in this ravine, so... I guess it kind of does remind me of early on ravines in Minecraft, but... That's about it. Uh, the caves weren't very good. Ooh! Whoa, there's a big old pasture of wildflowers over here. Man, what are these wildflowers? Uh, lavenders! There's a lavender pasture over here. What is this tree? Jacaranda tree. There's that one. Okay, let's get rid of this F3 stuff. Man! I might want to grab all these lavenders as well, right? What, are we going to get, like, purple dye from that? Usages, uh, yep, purple dye. And that's about it. Oh, not bad. Might as well grab as many as I can, just in case I want to... Yeah, I might as well, right? Use them to decorate the park. Just scatter them all over the... Oh, I see you there, chicken. You're hiding under all the lavenders. <laughs> well, let's pick up all the lavenders if we can. And... I don't think we really need too many, but we're finding some cool biomes here. Of course, biomes are plenty, the mod... 
has a lot of biomes here, so it's going to be a little bit tougher to find uh, Mesa biomes. But at the same time, we're going to find a lot of really cool, unique biomes like that Lavender one right there. So, I don't know, I might, I might want to pause the recording real quick. See if I can find, uh, oh, what are these uh, flowers? Goldenrod, ooh. What are these for? Uh, dandelion yellow, that's about it. Huh. I guess it's just another way to get uh, yellow dye and whatnot. Anyways, whoa, there's a zombie above the- Oh, he's got a hat on. <laughs> oh, I see you there, zombie. Eh, murder! There you go. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm gonna pause the recording. Keep, uh, Oh, whoa, there's another village here. And then there's that weird bridge, but... There's another village. I'm just kind of looking around. We're in adventure. I don't even- What is that tower? I don't think I've seen this tower. Oh, this village- Oh, jeez, this village would flood it. Whoops. Rest in peace, villagers. What is this, though? Uh, oh, I think this is the watchtower. Yeah, I think our village back home had one of these. Yeah, there's, like, beds and... Oh, is there loot up here? Oh, yep, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> arrows and axes and weapons and stuff up here for all the guardsmen. Yeah, I don't th I don't think this is a, a new tower. I think we've seen this back at our old base, our old home, our old village. But, uh, yeah, is this that windmill house? Because I know there's a mansion here. A while, I remember adventuring inside of a mansion a while ago. Long, long, long time ago. And yep, there's food inside of that chest. Don't really need it. I don't, <laughs> I don't need to steal it either. What's inside here? Yep, more food inside there. And if we keep going upstairs, I think we can find even more food and stuff inside of these chests, like carrots. I think I found carrots in one of these chests before. Man, this guy's got 19 pumpkin pie. Jeez. Oh, he's got a book and quill. Do you write anything in this? Uh, did he talk about the flood? He didn't talk about the flood. <laughs> Alright, well, let's keep going upstairs. See if we can find something else up here. Man, we're getting sidetracked as heck. We're not yep, there's carrots. <laughs> Just like I said. What else is up here? Uh, nothing up there. And bottles of water and an arrow and cobweb, potatoes. These people are crazy keeping potatoes up inside of their chests. <laughs> Alright, well, let's leave. And uh, let's, let's go back on our adventure. We need to stay on track. We need to stop getting distracted. Ooh, there's like a... What is this? I think it's some sort of skeleton. <gasps> Bones, fossils. Okay, let's take these. Yeah, I almost just missed that. I think I got some comments from you guys last episode saying that, I've, <laughs> that I missed a lot of fossils, which is to be expected. I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert getting all these fossils, especially whenever I... It's like pitch black and stuff, and I have to brighten the video. It's a lot easier for you guys to see the fossils compared to me whenever it's pitch black and whatnot, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to... Uh, like I said, I think I'm going to pause the recording. Keep flying around, see if I can find a... Uh, oh, look at this one! What is this? What? I think we've seen, like, one of these. What is the name of this by? A magical forest or something? Rainforest? Is that it? Just rainforest? It's very lush looking, I'll tell you that much. Oof. Oh man, the terrain is epic too. What are you doing there, cow? Oh, you get, yeah, you get away from that edge. You don't want to fall. Ah! I guess if, oh man, there's another cow on that edge. I guess if you guys fall off that edge, you can land in the water all safe-like. But man... This would be another place that we could build a base if I just started the series here, of course. Oh, is that a... No, oh, awesome. Is that, is that a mountaintop or a snow biome? Oh, I think it is just a mountaintop. Man, I, I really need, like, a snow biome instead of just a mountaintop that has snow on top of it, but... Ah, uh, what are you going to do? Anyways, like I said, going to pause the recording. Find a... Hopefully find a base of biome, and I will see you guys here in a bit. There are some giant mushrooms over there. I guess I'm back, but I couldn't find a mesa biome, but I did come across this, like, giant flower biome. <laughs> now, if we see this giant yellow flower block right there, giant red flower, there's a red chicken. Wait, what? What's that called? <gasps> Ro <laughs> rooster. It's like a rooster, but it's a rose. A ro I'm taking it. I'm taking that chicken. <laughs> Let me get that chicken. He's going to be a special little chicken. He's going to... Oh, there's another one right there. Whoa, hold on. Oh, wait, that one has a... T <laughs> I'm taking that one. That one has a T-Rex on his head. <laughs> get over here, rooster. Get over here, rooster. Oh, there you go. There you go. He's oh, we got him. Let's see. Is there like a yellow one? There's a, there's a red one. Red rooster. Is there, is there like multiple colors? Oh, there's watermelons right there. Ah, I'm not seeing any. There's <laughs> there's more red ones. Okay, let's go buy a yellow tree. Or <laughs> yellow giant flower, right? Is there a... Yeah, it seems like they're all just red. 
Huh. Well, I'm glad I got the one I got because he has a T-Rex on his head. He's perfect for us. Maybe he could be the next animal companion. I don't know. Anyways, I kind of want to get the, uh, let's get the steel pit. Let's, let's still touch this thing. Is this going to come crashing down? Oh, it's not. Hmm. Okay. Wait, what if I break it with a railer? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. <laughs> so instead of saplings, it drops dandelions. What? Huh. Okay, well, I can get the stems. But I guess these, the, the, the actual block, I have to silk touch. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can silk touch the, the regular blocks, like the giant red flower blocks. But these giant stems, I can bring with my, uh, with my paxel, no problem. Oh! Oh, no, it, oh, it got rid of it, though. Ooh, okay. Well, we need to be careful. We should probably grab all of them. Let's grab all of these here. And then we get the stem last. Okay, well, this will be interesting. It will definitely open up some doors for decoration. Hashtag doors for decoration. But it'll open up a lot of opportunity to decorate our, our park a lot more. Now we have all these flowers and gigantic. Actually, yeah, what about these? Long grass block? Can I grab those? Yeah, I can. Ooh. Yeah, let's grab some of these too. I, th I think we might only need one of them and then put a bunch of dirt around it. And I think it might be able to spread all this like long grass block on top of them, right? I think, I think that might be how it works. Anyways, let's grab the rest of this. Let's grab like a bunch of red over there as well. We might want to make a bookmark over here or like a waypoint. That way we know where this is. We can always come back here later, but this biome doesn't really look too big. Seems like it ends like right over there, maybe. I don't know. Huh. Anyways, let's set a waypoint here. Uh, flower biome. <laughs> giant. Let's tell, yeah, let's call it giant flower biome. There you go. And we can name it that and we can always come back here later. What if we want some more gigantic flowers? <laughs> Anyways, let's grab the rest of these, like, red, giant red flower blocks. <laughs> and, uh, maybe a few more stems. Uh, I guess I'll pause the recording and keep collecting all these, and I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit, and I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll fly back home and see if I find a mesa on the way, but I might give up on this mesa. There's, uh, fossil blocks over there. Hmm. But maybe we can worry about the mesa here later. Maybe I'll, I'll try and find one off camera because I, I really wanted to find one on camera. That way you guys can see the mesas and we can go fossil hunting for them on camera, but... Uh, oh, whoops, I accidentally just broke a fossil. <laughs> but, uh, unfortunately, I guess I can't find these, uh, this mesa here. I don't know, I, I, I feel like I've never really even been to a mesa biome in Minecraft, even though they've been around for like, what, two years now? I've never really even been to one. Because I've, I've never really explored around. I've usually been playing in mod packs and stuff, not really exploring around, getting getting into the regular Minecraft stuff. But, uh, oh yeah, I have to keep, continue getting this flower. Right? Ooh, there's a sunflower there too. I'll take it. I take that. Ooh, I can. Actually, I think it just breaks without <laughs> without needing silk touch, so I think that's good either way. Anyways, I'm going to collect a few more of these gigantic flowers. <laughs> and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh, no. Oh, there's a floating piece of sand. <laughs> but I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys. So I, I found some snow and ice and stuff, which is kind of weird because it, it seems like it's only on sand. I want to F3 it here. <gasps> Cold beach. Ooh, that's a cool biome. <laughs> Part of the pun. Cool biome. Cold, get it? But uh, that's kind of cool. I was wondering why only the sand had had snow on it and why the ice only came out like that. But that's kind of cool. <laughs> and once again, part of the pun, but it's, it's really neat that, that it's a cold beach. Kind of ends right there. doesn't even go into the ocean. Uh, but I, I really want to find like a proper like tundra, like an actual cold area and not just like a beach area, you know? But... Uh, well, I'm going to have to keep heading, uh, which way am I going? West. Yeah, this way. I'm going to have to keep heading west, because I need to head to uh, head back home. But, uh, right now... Oh, is that a construction hat? Oh, there's a construction hat on that cat. Or, <laughs> not cat, but cow. Uh, combining cow with hat. Anyways, uh, ooh, what are these, uh... These are those, what are they called? Like cypresses? Cypress trees? Uh, mangrove. Ooh, mangrove. Ooh, okay, let's cut them down. Let's cut these bad roads. Can I cut them down in the water? And it... Oh, it does! Huh! That's interesting. Oh, wow, I have, like, no... Oh! I have, like, no inventory space. Must have, <laughs> must have been taking a lot of space with all those big old flowers. Anyways, let's... I guess grab more of the... Oh, wow, these mangroves go pretty deep into the water. Hmm. Do I get a... Did I get a sapling from? Uh, I don't think I did. Let's get a... Let's try and cut down another... Oh! Let's try and do this one, yeah. Let's try and cut down another mangrove. See if we can get a sapling from these bad boys. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Let's grab that sapling. What's that one? That's going to be kind of cool. Definitely is uh, to plant some more trees back at the park, though. I'll tell you that much. 
I know I did. I, maybe I'll work on that one part of the park where, oh, what is this sand? Oh, it is. Huh, interesting. What if we can find some fossils here? Uh, nah, doesn't look like it. Ah, uh, oh, what's this? Oh, it's like a little dark area. Oh, we can see some mangroves growing through the sandstone right there. Hmm. Well, anyways, I need to keep heading west. Yeah, it's this way. Let's look at a big map. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, there's a whole, like, big black void right here that we should probably try and, uh, explore, but, uh, yeah, right now I just need to keep heading west, and I should eventually get back home. I know I can't teleport back home, but I do want to kind of explore the area and see if I can find, a uh, these orange cosmos. Ooh! I think it. <laughs> but I kind of want to explore the area on my way back home, just in case I do come across a mesa biome, but, uh, I'm not really- Oh my, what in the- what is this biome? What? Volcano? <gasps> Volcano! Oh man, what? Oh, this is cool. I didn't- what? Volcano biomes? What are these? Is this like basalt? Ash stone. Ooh, what could you use this for? Usages? Probably just decoration, right? Yeah, it looks like just decoration. Hmm. What if I dig down into this? I assume this is a volcano, volcano right? Oh, gee- oh! No, I don't think this is actually the- <laughs> I don't think that's actually like magma or anything. I guess it technically is magma, but like... It, it goes down deep into the- I don't think this is real volcano. I think it might be some sort of... Like, dormant volcano, maybe? Let's see if we can find like an actual real volcano here. What's that? Is that basalt? Is that real basalt? Uh, oh, it's another... Uh, ash block and ash stone. Okay, well, what is it? Don't we have this in the nether? Pile of ash- Yeah, we have this in the- Yeah! Huh. Interesting. Interesting that we could find the same stuff here in a volcano biome that we could find in a in the nether, the area that's completely on fire and stuff like that. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if this is like a straight tunnel down to the nether or something. And like right next to the big hot volcanoes is some more cold beaches. <laughs> oh, that just makes total sense, Minecraft. Anyways, uh, which way? Yeah, I need to keep heading west. Ah, oh, man, I keep getting distracted here. <laughs> But I need to keep it in the head west, and hopefully I can find a mesa biome, and if I do, I'll let you guys know. But until then, I'm going to pause the recording, and make my way back home. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, flying back home. There's like an abandoned ship here. What? What the... D <laughs> Why is this ship here? Do you guys Look at how big it is. Why is it here? Was there like a massive, like, biblical, casual, biblical flood that happened here? And then now this ship is just kind of rotted away and stuff, or... Well, let's see what's inside. Ooh, wooden javelin? Oh, it's a part of the fossils and archaeology thing. Ooh, what's in here? Any loot in here? Uh, I assume this is a... Uh... Actually, yeah, I don't know where this is. Oh, wolves! Ooh, wolves! Oh, man, sheep. Oh, man, you guys need to be really careful with those wolves. I don't know which is the front. I guess this is the... Yeah, this should be the front here, right? Oh, man, there's loot! What is in this chest right here? I can't really... Oh, there we go. Books, iron sword, gunpowder, uh, I don't know if it's... Javelin? This must be an old ship if they're using casual javelins. Leather? Ugh, that's probably brought away hardcore by now, right? <laughs> what else is inside of these chests? Ooh! I have to break the top of these so I can actually open them up. Yeah, some more leather. Graphing table. Ooh, how... Yeah, oh, whoa! How far... Ooh, there's water! Oh, there's another furnace there. Why are there furnaces hidden down there? This is a very peculiar- Oh man, there's even underwater chests! <gasps> Golden swords! Ooh, that's where the real plunder is, down here, compass. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys definitely need to use that thing. <laughs> or else you wouldn't have appeared here in the middle of nowhere. Jeez! Uh, oh man, there's a lot of chests here in the middle, too! Iron swords and fish- uh, I'm not taking all this stuff because I don't really need them. Uh, I think it's- uh, I guess I'll grab them. <laughs> I could grab the swords, too, and get a little bit of a- Yeah, I'll grab those ingots. Grab, uh, get a little bit of iron out of those by throwing them into a smeltery, but I saw there's like a door down here. Does this go even deeper? Let's keep digging down. Oh wow, it's still going! Wow, this ship must have been here for the longest time if the the bottom of the ship is it's like all the way down here. Huh. I didn't even know this stuff kind of like even existed all the way down here. Man, that's awesome. Anyways, yeah, I'm just kind of flying around right now. Oh, is this wool? Is this carpet? Uh, ooh, it's actually red wool. I'll take it. 
<laughs> Might as well, right? We definitely need to use- Oh, whoa, there's even fences down here? What are these fences for? Oh, there's a staircase that goes down into, I assume, even lower levels of the ship. Uh, how far does this keep going? Jeez! Man, it's, it's so, so deep down, man! Uh, anyways, what else do we- Oh yeah, I have a lot of- Why do I have so many doors in my inventory? Jeez. Anyways, <laughs> let's keep grabbing all these uh, things of wool. Might as well, right? Free wool. Even though I think we have like 800 wool back home, so it's not like we need all this wool. There we go. And there's even more wool here, but thanks to that, uh, that wolfie. Hey there, little wolfie fellow. Anyways, uh, let me just show you guys the map. So I, I was heading back home. I already met up with the uh, this area over here. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I fly around here in this black void here in the middle-ish? Because you never know, you might actually find a... Uh, a biome inside here, a mesa biome, so I'm gonna keep flying around this black, undiscovered void right here and see if we can find ourselves a mesa biome, and if so, then whew, I'm gonna be so glad that I did. What if not, then, I don't know, maybe this episode is gonna go up late today because of me <laughs> exploring around here so much, but, uh, ooh, there's even like a, like a cast right here. I keep getting distracted by all these little artifacts. <gasps> ooh, there's a chest with a redstone torch, and, and there's five spider eyes. <laughs> really? Five spider eyes. What is this? Why is it so mystical? Just sand. Yeah, there's sand by me. Ah, oh, that's dumb. <laughs> Anyways, you want to pause the recording? Uh, keep exploring around. Uh, wow. This is this the alpha? This, is this the? Was it called Origin Land again or whatever? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think I remember this. And then here's the whatever this is called. Is this like the dandelion field or not? No, not dandelion. The lavender fields. I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep flying around here. See if I can find a uh, a mesa. But, yeah, I'm not really... I don't think we will. I don't think there's enough space in this big black void over here for us to... Well, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, go ahead and pause the recording. And I guess we'll find out. I you guys are back home. And, uh, man, I was running into so many troubles. Because, you know, I was loading in new chunks. New chunks of the world that have never been loaded in before. The game kept crashing so much. So I'm really sure that this episode is going to go up super late today. So, anyways, I'm finally back home. And, well, I have a lot of trash in my inventory. I might as well go put it all up. Giant yellow flowers, mangrove saplings, a lot of stuff. Ooh, we have the roaster, too. Ooh, yeah, we definitely need to name that. So, long, long grass block. I guess we could use that later, yeah. And get rid of all this stuff. Rotten flesh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I killed a zombie. Forgot about that. <laughs> Let's put all that up as well. Red wool, yeah, we'll definitely need that. A little bit of iron, too. Fossil ore, we'll keep that. We can put up the, uh, the silk touch pick. And let's go put up the, uh, the fossils that we have. Because I definitely need to get some more fossils. I guess off camera between this episode, this episode and next episode. So I, I guess off camera, I'll, I'll try and see if I can find a mesa biome on my own. And if so, I'll, I'll try and get some of the fossils from that. As well as fossils from like, uh, like, like sand biomes and regular stone biomes and well, pretty much anywhere else you can find fossils. <laughs> so I'll try and get a lot of fossils. Next episode, we'll definitely try and uh, get the excavation area of the visitor center nice and made. And let's try and get the uh, a name tag. Yep, there you go. Let's grab one of those bad boys. Let's go grab a little bit of uh, levels from our level thing over here. Retrieve 10 levels. Uh, we only need up to five. There you go. And let's go over to our anvil, our dark steel anvil. And let's name this thing. Uh, what should we name the little chicken fellow? Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Let me let me get the little chicken out. Oh, there he is right there. <laughs> I love it. Oh, he, his feet are black. Kind of like, why are his feet black? Oh, what are you doing there, little chicken? Oh, what? It, oh, you're kind of... <laughs> you need to get out of there, little chicken. You got T-Rex on your head. Oh, wait. Do I still have the T-Rex on my... I do. I do. <laughs> Oh, this is perfect! It's like a little chicken version of me! <laughs> it even matches my Iron Man suit, too. Except for the yellow. Doesn't really have any... Oh, there's a little bit of yellow right there! That little gobbledy gobble thing. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm good. I don't... Yeah, let's name this one like Rosie or something, right? Rosie the Red Roaster? What's it called again? Roaster? <laughs> roaster, jeez. Let's name it Rosie. There you go. Okay, so now we have Rosie the Roaster. There you go. Kind of like a rose rooster thing. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> I've never seen it before. <laughs> Anyways, let me go uh, put Rosie up. I guess you can hang out up here, Rosie. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos... Oh, you're hanging out on the couch now, Rosie, aren't you? You're <laughs> watching some Yon Cat. <laughs> and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. I hear some copies chirping at me. <laughs> so thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there. Actually, yeah, let's put Rosie back at the uh, at the chicken area over here. What used to be, I guess, the nursery. 
is now just like a chicken hangout spot right back here, right? There you go, you can hang out with all the other chickens there, Rosie. <laughs> oh wait, why are your feet grow- <gasps> Rosie plants roses whenever she- No way! No way! Oh, that is so cool! Oh! Are you gonna plant some more roses there, Rosie? <laughs> that is awesome! Oh my, there you guys.